So, my good friend Nisvik, who is essentially the only one I nowadays discuss the Civil War with, has tasked me with playing the Battle of Gaines Mill as the Union, and that really makes me happy because I don't want to be no fucking stinking confederate. Um, if you ask me, General Sherman should never have stopped and all that Union gang stuff. So, uh, we will be playing as General McClellan's Invasion Army, and we did not expect the Confederates' aggressive maneuvers. General Lee, instead of using his forces to defend um, against a much larger army, has ordered a concentrated assault towards the right flank of the Union Army. Overwhelmed by the tactical superiority of the rebels, Federal forces on the Union right flank began to withdraw south. After a few miles march, General Porter prepared a strong defensive line against along Boatswain Swamp in an effort to stop the Confederate advance. So, our forces are executing a tactical withdrawal to prepare for Lee's attack on our right flank. Our objective is to hold the line around Boatswain Creek and protect the main Union army deployed um, a few miles south. Rebels are currently marching towards our location and are preparing for a major assault. Unknown enemy numbers may attempt to surround us from the northeast. We must hold our position and do not allow the Confederates to pass, otherwise our army will be in great danger of being surrounded and destroyed. The only reinforcement we expect is Slocum's division. The rest of our forces must hold a defensive line against a possible rebel attack from the west. So, the rebels are pursuing us along this road past Gaines Mill, and we got the first US sharpshooters here. And we must buy time for our army to establish a defensive line along the Boatswing Creek, so we need to deploy our skirmish skirmishers and delay the enemy. So, the first US uh, sharpshooters will be deployed into the tree line here and the rest of the army will continue towards the creek and general porter here let's see can I think we're going to leave at least one division to hold the river crossing here comes general Lee's men Come on, sharpshooters! Don't, don't fail me now. Okay, so General uh, Warren's division will be taking up that position. Uh, Buchan's division will take up that position. Chapman's will take up that position. Cannons uh, will take a central, central stage here. So far, our skirmishers are holding, but it will not last. Yeah, fall back. Fall back double quick. Okay, so the first one of our guns is almost in position. I do declare that we want the second battery at that location. Butterfield will stand by here to assist the skirmishers as they may require. Uh, Martin Field, you can take up that defensive line and we're gonna speed this up a bit. Here comes Greg. 35,000 men strong. Fire! Greg is charging us. Well, he's going to run straight into Butterfield, so that's Go not going to work well for him. However, our sharpshooters are being routed. Come on, rally. I need those guys to rally now. We're going to place up the supplies right there. Good, you rallied. Flank the enemy. 
from that. Oh, General Anderson's division has been spotted. Fall back out of musket shot range. Okay, Butterfield, run for it. All units fall back. Fall back towards the main defensive line and ho hope the enemy will follow. I think we managed to get them to deploy their cannon a bit prematurely. But uh, right now we want our forces to report to... Report to the front line. Sorry, Butterfield, but your men is simply have to do this double quick. There's a wooded area right in front of the left line there that should be suitable for our advance here. General Anderson's division is uh, coming right up to us. Our cannon should hopefully hold Hill and his core for the moment. Our cannon is opening fire at uh, Pender's Core. It looks like we might actually have forced the rebels to rethink their entire idea behind this assault. If that's the case, that's good because we only need to hold them out, hold them for a little bit longer. I would say that our withdrawal to the defensive lines went as expected. However, Butterfield's men are utterly exhausted at this point. It looks like their infantry might still be forming for the assault. Uh, I'm just gonna check a bit on how they are doing on ammunition. Uh, they s they are in s they seem to be in supply, so I sh would not worry about that. The rebels continue to attack. Apparently, more rebel forces has been spotted coming along. And we received some cavalry reinforcements. And we should use them for patrol. Or at least so the game tells us. General Franklin with Slocum's division will soon join us. His division can protect McGee Hill and support defense wherever needed. Uh, Alright, so we'll send Farnsworth's cavalry to scout. While our cannon will make life difficult for Johnny Rebel. It looks like they might be trying to amass on our right flank here. If that is the case, I do hope that we can assemble reinforcements quickly enough. It doesn't seem like they're gonna try anything against our left, so... At this point in time, I'm just going to move Griffin. I am not at all comfortable with the rate which Greg is closing. I'm gonna send the cavalry to this location so they can scout from the tree line. Good, our skirmishers are not only drawing the enemy fire, but it seems like uh, they also might delay Pender a bit here. But I could really use those reinforcements at this stage in time. At some point, General Lee is going to tire of using his army as our targeting practice. Actually, if Greg is so convinced, he just needs to fire on Warren's forces. We might actually try and get Butterfield to 
strength in the line, that means that whatever happens, the enemy will not only be outnumbered, but also take fire from at least two different... No, do not advance. You may support the line, but you will do so from further back. Looks like we sent fieldsmen running. All we have... Actually, uh, Tor you will target Pender's division. We have a perfect uh, position there where our bullets are in the fidel of their line. Uh, that means Weed's division. You'll to focus on Anderson's division. Uh, I'm gonna let Griffin hang around here in case they push too much on our right. We can always use a strong center to uh, create a better defense. Looks like they're sending archers uh, core division into into the entire thing. <sighs> also, I keep mixing up the division and brigades. Sorry about that. Alright, General Franklin is uh, here with Slocum's division. You men can advance up to this position and then we'll do this then we will disposition you as we see fit. Those additional cannon will certainly be useful. Looks like Greg is pushing. Keep firing into them, boys! Have the sharpshooters fall back. Ewell's division is also trying to attack. Repel them, boys! Repel them! Damn it, that is not that is not what I mean with repel them, please. Griffin, your line will support. Support the artillery and stop that breakout. Taylor, Bartlett, Newton, you're going to be sent into the battle immediately. On those lines, boys. Getty, Hayes, Hexaner. We're setting you up to be an auxiliary battery on this location. Uh, I'm gonna send Farnsworth uh, back here. And he's going to help me route those skirmishes. Griffin, take up that defensive position if you please. Reinforcements have arrived. I want you to send Johnny Reb packing. Make it clear to him that he is not welcome here, nor are his friends. Take on Anderson, you'll take on Branch. We have been routed from the defense. Griffin has been routed from the defensive position one more time, but. It is of no concern at this point. The enemy is currently unable to use that gap. And are simply just... Actually, let's send Butterfield's division. Oh crap, they are flanking on our right. They are coming on our right. I don't know what Fonsworth was doing, but obviously he was not looking out for us. We must hold until the end of the day. That is going to be tricky. The Confederate Army is also receiving more reinforcements, which is going to be a huge problem for us. We 
have strong cannon at the very least. Bartlett, resume your attempt to, tr to secure that, that line. I want that line for us. Bartlett, fire upon Greg. Newton? Newton is gonna break soon. Yeah, he's already broken. Rhodes Division is causing trouble, but Butterfield's Division should hopefully be able to try and put some fire into those knaves and villains. Looks like they chose the bayonet. Newton, support. Bartlett, you and the sharpshooters are going up to support Butterfield. They are charging Griffin's Brigade. The end of the day is not that far off now. Longstreet is pushing our center. As long as we can hold them until the end of the day, that should be enough. Draw the cannon, they are far too exposed in that position. Newton, advance. The enemy skirmishes seems to be content with... Yeah, the enemy are massing for another assault. I'm gonna have to send... <sighs> Fire into them, boys! Oh! General Pickett! Hey Pickett! Do you want to have a division after this? Let's make sure Pickett knows exactly how it feels. Uh, Bashanan, fill that gap. Uh, Weed, move up with your cannon. Butterfield, you're in support. The sharpshooters and our forces are currently focusing on Garland. It looks like the Confederates might actually try to go for the hill here, and if they are then we have every opportunity to ruin Stonewall Jackson's day. Fire into them, boys! I don't care if they route, I just want to disrupt their attempts to take this position. That is my main goal right now. Disruption. Making sure that the... Oh crap, Garland is coming around. Send the sharpshooters back into the woods. The funny thing is that Garland could not pick a right option there. There was literally no good solution for him. Either he went and faced my uh, brigade, or he would be in a position where... Chapman, uh, you'll stand in these tree lines. You'll hold. Uh, looks like we got another Anderson coming in. How many General Anderson do they got?
All right, Griffin, you're up. Okay, so we actually won the Battle of Gaines Mill here. Uh, it appears that the enemy had 54,000 infantry and they lost 13,000. Uh, they had 75 guns and they doesn't seem to have lost many of those. They only lost four artillerymen total. Out of our strength, we had 31,000 infantry, we had uh, 600 cavalry, and 103 guns. We lost 11 guns and 10,000 men, but the va battle is a victory for the Union. And the reason it's a victory is because we held both Swain Hill and we held McGee Hill. And it's only a draw if I still hold McGee Hill. Also, we inflicted more casualties upon the enemy, so that's a bonus, and we did so while being under strength. So, Robert Buchanan is deceased, Governor Warren is promoted, Stephen Weed is promoted, uh, Dee Butterfield is promoted, William Whedon is promoted, and Hiriam Burden got wounded. Uh, we captured a... No we rescued... well, here's the thing. If you rescued, you prevented them from being captured by the enemy. So 5,000 rifles was prevented from falling into enemy hands. And we managed to recapture 2,500 rifles. We also captured... Uh, we also rescued a number of guns, as well as sharps rifles. Uh, in, from falling into enemy hands. So, I would say we actually did fairly well with this one. And glory to the Union. L let's all go down to Dixie.